Hi, Don Cavellis here from Four Dog Stove here. I'm on the back 40 and today I thought we'd do a little video on uh, some comparison of some different bush cookers that are out there right now. And so I thought I'd talk a little bit about them and so you people out there can know what's what and make the best selection you can for what you need. So we're all kind of familiar now. It sounds like a whole bunch of people are kind of following me and Fritz from uh, Bush Buddy about uh, the convenience of having a bush cooker type stove where you got all the fuel you'll need for Mother Nature out in the brush by burning twigs. So I thought I'd make a little quick video here, make some comparisons on them. So, you know here we got here the old Bush Buddy, which is made by Fritz up in Canada. Great little stove. In fact, it's such a good little stove that a fellow somewhere out down in Texas decided that it's so good, I'm gonna have it made offshore. So he brought in what they call the Solo Stove. So I guess he's selling that now and he's selling it for $69.95 and he's, uh, Weighs about nine ounces compared to the Bush Buddy that weighs five ounces, and he'll sell you a pot and he'll sell you a windscreen with a total weight of a little over two pounds. And for the price of $129.97, because he likes to use that $999.99. Then we also look over here, we got a newfangled creation, got designed in New York City. And I'll tell you what, it's one heck of a piece of engineering. Sit there, you got these nice legs that fold out. And you got yourself here a piece of plastic in a thermal company coupler that generates the electricity and a little blower and a battery so you can charge your iPod when you go to the bush. Myself, I never took an iPod to the bush. Don't think I probably will, but if you take your iPod, this is the stove to have. Connect it up here like this. Total unit weighs about two pounds. They say you can boil a liter of water in four and a half minutes. Now, you might be able to do that, but what we were testing here the other day with Morris and uh, a really nice uh, Serbian feller, we found out that uh, maybe not from when you start the fire, maybe when you got a roaring fire you could, but we, the best we could do with it was about eight minutes from the time we lit the match. Because when we make a comparison here at Four Dog about how fast you can bring a, a liter to a boil, we go by the time you light the match. Not when the fire is roaring, not after you have a good fire started, but when you light the match. Okay, the one thing that does have advantage, you've got like your thermal coupling, that a thermal generator that'll sit there right here. You can hook it up and you can uh, generate electricity. And then you got like a low and a high, so you got all these connections. Now, they do say you shouldn't use it in heavy rain and you got to be careful with it. Well, me, I'm not very careful with nothing. So I don't know if it's something I want to depend on if I'm walking a long ways out in the bush. Weighs about two pounds. Now, we got here, got a total package here. This here weighs only one pound. Now what do you got there? You got yourself a pot made here in the USA over in Two Rivers, Wisconsin. You got yourself a heavy duty titanium windscreen made right here on the back 40 by Americans. We got here, bush cooker stove. This bush cooker stove has a capacity of almost three ounces, which would be enough to boil one liter of water. It's about half again the capacity of the bush buddy or the solo stove. The other thing you have, you have your burn pot to burn alcohol. This stove will only burn twigs. It says not to use any sort of charcoal. This stove, you can put in any sort of biomass, any sort of solid fuel tab, it'll burn charcoal, and with the burn cup, you can burn alcohol. And the nice thing, like I said before, made right here in the States. Now, got to admit, made here, I got to charge a little bit more money. So compared to the solo setup, this total setup is going to cost you $135, weighs 16 ounces. The solo stove with the same as the pot they sell and their windscreen and all that, it's going to cost you $129.97 and it's made in undisclosed locations. Now if you want to go to a little bit bigger pot, you can go to the Morris pot, a little bit bigger stove. There again, we got a titanium heavy duty windscreen because we don't make no, we don't make no York City stuff. We make tough stuff. We make tough stuff made to go to the bush. You can go on this one and it's only $15 more. So, guess the decision's up to you. If you want one of these really high tech ones, and I will say, this is one piece of engineering. But the problem is, you got a whole lot of weak links. You can't use it in heavy downpours. You gotta be careful that you don't 
if the battery doesn't work, it ain't gonna work. If the blower goes out, it ain't gonna work. If the switch goes out, it ain't gonna work. And it is on a little bit on the fragile side. Now you take this stove here, almost indestructible, made out of titanium, okay? So it'll take heat up to 3,200 degrees. You can sit there and throw it. You can stand on it, built mule tough for hard use in the bush. No moving parts, one solid piece construction, nothing to lose. So choice is up to you. So if you want to get your bush cooker light, check out fordog.com. Thanks for watching.